building snake rack. These sheets right here are 24 by 36. I have pre-cut them. I've got these tubs here, which are 41 quart homes tubs that I got from Walmart. I went there to buy the Sterlite, and they didn't sell them anymore. So, put them on there. I got little CDs up in there, the spacers. I did that on all five of them. This is a five rack. Got them all spaced out, got it all lined up good. I'm going to cut some 2x4s for the sides. Some 2x4s are 6 foot long. I've marked them. Each leg is going to be 34 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and cut 6 legs at 34 inches. Okay, I'm marking the second one. It's going to be 34 inches. Little line. Grab my speed square. Nice line. Back to the lighter box. Alright, as you see, I have cut six 2x4s to length at 34 inches, which is the height of the rack. And I also got to build a base. So I think I'm going to go ahead and build a base first. So I'm going to have to take some measurements and cut that out as well. Alright, I'm going to pre drill some holes for my screws. And I think I'd be better off marking these so that I get it dead center. So let me do that first. Alright, so let drill through there. Alright, what I did was I snugged up this side in this one corner, my first corner, top to bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to the front side, the opposite corner, kitty corner, and snug up that area. And that way it will help me keep everything nice and squared. Alright, so what I've done is I've tacked in the top and the bottom. And I did that on all four sides. Get out of your light here. And I did that on all four sides. The lighting is horrible. Sorry. We're out here at the camp doing this. Probably not the best place for it, but it's where I had room and that's where we were for the weekend, so that's how we're doing it. So I've tacked it on all four sides, and now I'm going through and I'm making the lines for each cell so I can know where to put the screws. And I'll do that all the way around, and then I'll pre drill them all, and then I will screw them in. So this rack is done. You see, they slide out fairly easy. They all slide out pretty nice. The only one that kind of gives me a little bit of a problem is the very bottom one. So I'm going to do a little sanding to get that uh, perfect. But, quick, easy, cheap snake rack. Uh, I probably have about $55. 
in lumber and screws, or no, actually about fifty dollars in lumber and screws, and ten dollars a bin, and that's five bins. So for under a hundred bucks, decent rack. Add another twenty-one, or sorry, twenty-eight dollars for the heat tape that's coming tomorrow, and that's about it. Not bad, quick little put together rack. Did with the kids.